At school, Bobby Wurlitzer made fun of me. He yelled across the lunch table so everyone could hear. Hey, Splat! You sound like a fog! <laughs> it bothered me. I'd help what my voice sounds like. All day, I'd get what Bobby said out of my Bobby. I kept imagining what it would be like to have another voice. Maybe I'd be more popular, and I'd be picked to be soccer for the solely team. Sim oh! Sim science class, I'd raise my hand and get to answer first. If I sounded like the guy on the old Spice Guy in PE class, I would be given enough deodorant to last a lifetime. Now that's tempting. Now look over there. Now over here. Now back to me. Now look over there. Now over here. Now back to me. Now look over there. Now over here. Now back to me. Now look over there. Now over here. Now back to me. Now look over there. Now over here. Now back to me. Now over there. Now. Hey yo, shut the fuck up! When I talk like a bully, I could cut a line at the movies and people would say anything. If I had a proper English accent like the Prince of England, I might get to rule a nation. Mike. The whole day I walked around talking like different voices, and guess what? Ha! I gave the wrong answer in Mr. Sims' class, even though I sounded like Albert Einstein! At tryouts for the school play, I spoke in my best British accent for King Lear's part, and I was picked as the silent court jester! Can you bloody well believe it? When I talked like the old spice guy in PE class, the guys just threw their smelly deodorant sticks at me. So the next day at lunch, I saw Bobby Wurlitzer. I yelled across the lunch tables, Hey, Wurlitzer! I like my voice, and I like being me! <laughs> Dude, I dare you to come over here and give me your best animal impressions. Bobby laughed. <laughs> He walked across the lunch tables like a stunt man and jumped down in front of me. You go first, Holmes. <laughs> then it was my turn. <laughs> I won. That night asked me to be your friend on Facebook.